First, KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Brooke Williams. And I'm Jamarlo Phillips. Thank you for watching KX News. As we lead local tonight, continuing coverage in the Minot murder trial. The state has rested its case against Matthew Anderson and Regina Goodale. Anderson is accused of murdering Wade Goodale. Regina is accused of being an accomplice to his murder. KX News' Kyra Brown shows us what the state's last witnesses had to say and what happens now. At this point in a trial, the defense is given the opportunity to present its case, calling on witnesses and submitting evidence they feel would convince the jury the defendant is not guilty of the crime. But when the judge called on Anderson and Regina's defense teams, both attorneys did not call any witnesses and told the jury they also rest. After the jurors were dismissed, Anderson and Regina's attorneys asked the courts to give the jury the option of lesser charges. They consider murder, and if they don't find on murder, then they can move on, and only then do they move on to the manslaughter. And if they don't find the manslaughter, then and only then, uh, my impression is that they move on to the negligent homicide. This is a unique trial because many times co-defendants are tried separately. But in this case, the state believes Anderson and Regina's involvement in the crime overlap enough for a single trial. So here are the options on the table. Anderson could be convicted of one of three offenses, murder, manslaughter, or negligent homicide. Or he could be acquitted of all charges. But the juror's first task is to decide if he is guilty of murder. If they find him guilty, that is his verdict. But if they find him not guilty of murder, they will move to the next most serious offense, which is manslaughter. If they find him not guilty of manslaughter, they will decide if he's guilty of negligent homicide. And the same goes for Regina as an accomplice. We just need to do the same thing we did with the included offenses on the uh, murder charge. Jurors will now decide Regina and Anderson's fate based on 32 witness testimonies, the defense's cross-examination of those witnesses, and closing arguments that are still to come. Kiara Brown, KX News. Closing arguments are set for tomorrow morning, then the jury will deliberate. A new development.